Vice President Maintenance for Roar Bus here in Duncan. Um, you know, as far as the impact of, of this this highway project with the closure of Marysville, it's quite an impact for us. Uh, we cycle many buses through here for maintenance every day. Uh, drivers coming back in here from our school districts uh, from Cumberland, Perry, Dolphin counties. It's going to be a lot of travel time. Uh, going to have a dramatic impact on, on our, our efficiency as far as moving vehicles back and forth. You know, we are concerned about emergency services, a lot of our, uh, if there's a major, hopefully there's no major catastrophes, but if there's any major fire or accidents, anything, a lot of our support does come out of Cumberland County, out of the Enola area. So, you know, again, it's going to add cycle time to get emergency responders to hear additional uh, Travel time for ambulance and support if, if there are any emergencies or accidents. This past week we saw a road closure. Many of us, it took us five hours to get two miles and because of the accident in Dolphin. And, uh, you know, if, if there's any accident in Dolphin, I mean, Perry, Junior counties are going to be basically completely isolated from Harrisburg area. We have no major access. And, you know, the biggest thing to me is, once again, we're, we're putting the Band-Aid on the situation. If we're going to trouble, you know, resurface this mountain, to me, the thing would, to do would be, you know, let's let's cut that mountain back and make a four-lane the whole way into Marysville, because we have congestion from the traffic light at 850 south every day, uh, basically a minor gridlock. So, you know, why don't we just engineer the whole thing? There's large housing development going into Marysville. It's just going to increase uh, already outdated highway so I think I think we need more more throughput more traffic flow from 850 south and, and you know now's the time to do a four lane just get over, over and done with instead of doing this twice. And I think the impact of the closure would be uh, a lot of folks have to go around the construction and, and the bill. Uh, I think be a real uh, impact on the community for us to go around like that. Me too with the toll roads. Well, they shut this down, the truck driver was screwed, but you can't go through 11 to 15. We're stuck here. Okay, I'm Tom Bird from McGuire's Ford. I've worked here for 30 couple years. Uh, the traffic problems we've had recently really show the problem we have all along up here, but when one of the roads is closed, it's almost a nightmare to try to get anywhere south. Uh, last Tuesday, it was probably a two and a half, three hour delay to get from here to Harrisburg. We also have the problem that they're working on the road right here, so that's kind of restricted. And we also have Pine Hill Road, which is one of the alternative, alternate routes that's closed right now. Uh, we're not really sure how it's going to go next year when they close the road in Marysville. There are a few ways around that, but none of them are real good. So if we have an accident on 322 then, I don't know what they're going to do.